What's up guys, uh, this is Damien with uh, Hosh Online and I'm going to be showing you the uh, this is Midge's uh, Slim and Trim ROM which is a ice cream sandwich uh, ROM and it's a uh, part of the you know, Android Open Kang project and uh, it's a really 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 great ROM I just want to, um, it's probably my favorite um, um, ROM for the Epic 4G Touch Aside from maybe Strong Steve's uh, Odex ROM, um, but you know that's gingerbread, and you have to upgrade for a ice cream sandwich because it's completely awesome. And um, I'm gonna give you a little rundown and um, a basic overview of this ROM. Okay, now this is a stock wallpaper that comes with it, and it it's really 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 smooth. You know some of these widgets that that are on here, um, those are not actually uh, what, what are gonna come with the ROM. I've been playing with it for a while. Like I said, it's it's my favorite ROM so far. Um, this uh, ROM is using the FD24 kernel and I'm getting excellent, uh, excellent uh, speeds, uh, 3G and 4G. I'm in a WiMAX area and I'm gonna go to my speed test and uh, maybe give some of the uh, previous results um, you know the uploads aren't you know anything to write home about but I'm getting three most of these are on 3G uh, no actually these are on 4G um, I don't have any of them on 3G but on 3G I'm averaging about one and two megs um, on average you know and that's great for a sprint 3G I know if you're on sprint you know what I'm talking about but um, even on 4G, you know, that's that's a pretty decent speed. Um, it's definitely fast enough to do anything that I'm going to be doing while I'm out and uh, needing to access that 4G network. Um, this uh, ROM is only 115 megabytes, 115. So you know, it's very light, hence the slim and trim name. Uh, and it also has one of my favorite things about Open Kang Project ROMs. It has ROM control, which lets you basically change anything you could possibly think of. Uh, everything from the, uh, like you can see, the uh, clock. Uh, I changed mine green. It's originally, uh, you know, that ice cream sandwich blue. Um, I change that. Uh, you you can change. I mean, you can customize it to, you know, any anything you want to do. You you can do it with ROM control. Uh, it's a definitely a step up from spare parts. Um, what else do we have here? Um, it comes with the Beats Audio, um, which is really nice. Uh, Zeme Launcher is included, and uh, it's pretty nice. But you know, any any ROM I get, um, it, it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm gonna go with Nova Launcher. That's just my favorite launcher for ice cream sandwich. Um, but I'll let you see what it looks like uh, with Zeme Launcher. Um, clear the default, so Nova. Okay. And this is what it looks like, minus all these apps. Like I said, I've been playing with it for a while. Um, and as you can see, the green icons, those are icons that come with the ROM. Um, Miz really did <laughs> an excellent job with this ROM. It's, it's, it's a great ROM. Um, you owe it to yourself to go ahead and try it out if you have an Epic 4G Touch. Um, it's not overclocked. Um, it does, for, as I told you before, 4G works, uh, 3G works. They don't have the... 4G hotspot working right now, but you can always use the uh, Bluetooth hotspot. Um, it, uh, oh yeah! Now the biggest thing with this ROM is if you if you own a Gal Galaxy Nexus, you've probably heard about the the tablet UI. Um, but this is the first, as far as I know, the first ROM outside of that that has has used it I, I'm probably wrong but you know I haven't heard anything about another ROM for another device other than the Galaxy Nexus but this is this is one of the first devices to take uh, to implement that 
uh, I'm gonna show you that. I'm also give you an um, uh, the awesome boot animation that Miz is putting in this uh, around toolbox. In order to access uh, tablet UI, all you have to do is change your build prop down to 120 and then apply and restart. And this gives you a chance to see this awesome boot, boot animation. Everything in this ROM, very smooth, um, really no complaints. There, now, you know what, actually that's a lie. There is one small, small, small complaint. When you're listening to music, and look at that. That's a great, awesome boot screen animation. Uh, but um, when you listen to music like Pandora or something, if you get a notification, the volume will go almost all the way down. And um, in order to turn it up, you know, you you have to. Sometimes it doesn't work depending on the app that you're in. When when it happens, uh, you might have to go back to the music app you're listening to and turn it up. But uh, for the most part, you can just you know turn it back up. The first time you you press the volume up, it goes back to where it was. Uh, it, just a small, small, small you know uh, glitch. Uh, but I'm sure it means to have it. Uh, worked out pretty soon there's supposed to be a supposedly a big update coming up uh, also there there can be sd card issues but there's a, fi a workaround for that i won't call it a fix but there's a workaround for that um i i don't have any of those issues with um my version so you know it's i guess it's a hit and miss but yeah i'm, I'm definitely not having any problems with that uh, and, and this is the tablet UI mode. As you can see, you know, everything got a little bit smaller. There are some force closes, but, you know, it, um, you just clear it and it goes right back to normal. And what, what is that? Oh, you know what? Actually, this didn't, didn't load right. Um, we're missing some things. So we're going to go back to ROM toolbox. Uh, ROM toolbox and everything is so little and I definitely don't have the best vision in the world uh, it is at 120 maybe just another restart it's never done that before Funny story is uh, when I first booted this, um, you know, the first time you clear Delvic or uh, it takes a while for uh, everything to come back. And uh, I was stuck on the boot screen for a while and I, I'm actually like pressing. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty stupid. But uh, yeah, here we go. OK, we had a little technical difficulty, but it seems to worked itself out with the uh, Delvic wipe and then um, so this is ta the tablet UI and, and as you can see it's a tablet ice cream sandwich U UI you know um, and it's awesome I mean it's a uh, it's a little small to text and everything you know you might not want to have this you know all day but when you know you finally find a place to be able to sit and chill uh, to be able to play around with this uh, it actually gives you all of the tablet apps so for Gmail you get a tablet Gmail you for uh, contacts for contacts you get uh, the cat tablet contact tax um, it's awesome I mean anything that that would be in an ice cream sandwich uh, you know, um, tablet, man, basically that's what you have here. And uh, this is running on the Zeme launcher that's included right now. Um, I had to take Nova launcher off, um, but you know, I'll be soon to put that back on there. Um, yeah, it's a great ROM. Battery life is great. Um, it's very smooth, very, very well polished. Um, 
you should check it out uh, there'll be links down below to um, link you to midges midges a xda uh, forum uh, where you can download the rhyme and do installs and uh, I may do an install video but you know there there's some out there um, if you guys ask for any then maybe I'll uh, do an, an install ROM uh, I mean video uh, using mobile mobile Odin to be able to flash uh, this ROM but until uh, then this is a uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, slimming slimming trim ROM for the Epic 4G Touch. Peace.